Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Your girl asked ChatGPT to do my makeup. I essentially cataloged all the makeup that I currently own and told it to randomly choose an item from each step in my makeup routine. If that wasn't enough, your girl also asked it to assign a number for each step. Now, based on the number between one to 10, that's gonna be how many times I have to apply that product. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy. I already know I'm gonna look a hot mess. The first thing the ChatGPT chose was my She Glam Triple Threats Correcting Primer. Here's where it gets a little sticky. I have to apply this primer eight times. But to make this a little bit easier on myself, I'm gonna put eight pumps of this primer into my hands and then just rub this in. One, four, eight. I feel like Meredith. I already know this is gonna look a hot mess because with one pump, I'm already very ghostly. Let's just dive on in, bruh. At least I'm gonna have a really good protective layer for all this foolishness I'm about to put on my face. Oh my God, this feels so wrong. This feels wrong on every single level that there ever was. Like this almost looks like a foundation in and of itself. What is this? Oh my God. I feel like I have to like blend this in with a sponge because man, this looks crazy. I'm not gonna blend this in with a sponge simply because I never blend in my primers with sponges. Oh God, it looks so bad. Ugh. I just hate that it's on my lip. <laughs> oh no, honey. Just, just for my own sake, I'm gonna wipe this off of my lip because uh-uh, absolutely not. I'm gonna have to let this dry down a little bit because that's usually what you do with the primer. You gotta let it dry. <sighs> Justin, eight layers of primer. That's like you know what you're looking for. After that in the video. I will. <laughs> Expose you. Consider yourself exposed. My teeth are so yellow. Oh my God, I need to get a teeth whitener. I'm gonna order a teeth whitener off of Flip and we're gonna see if it actually works because if it makes my teeth look lighter and whiter, y'all will know the difference. You know, this comes with drinking a lot of coffee. I've been drinking a lot of coffee these days and it's taking a toll on my teeth. I feel like this is never gonna dry. The next step is foundation. Now, for the foundation, it says I need to put four layers. I will say this, I'm glad it's not eight. Okay, I'm glad it's half of whatever this is. The foundation that it chose, which honestly, the chat GPT chose a lot from this this brand. Chat GPT, she tell. Chad GBT chose my She Glam. I like this foundation, it's not bad. I'm not gonna put this on the same way I did the, the primer where it was just like eight pumps. This one, I'm going to put it on the way I usually do my foundation, just do it four times. I always do two pumps. Well, actually, yeah, no, I do two pumps. This is layer number one. All right, adding some color back to my skin. It actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> well, with one layer of makeup on, this actually doesn't look that bad. This kind of reminds me of that trend people were doing where they would put like a white base on and then apply their makeup and it made them look flawless. Like they had a filter on. Layer one complete. Let's go in for layer two. I'm so glad that I didn't get my Fenty for this because this is such a waste. Uh, and I would hate to have wasted my Fenty because y'all know I'm a Fenty girl. We trying to hold on to that little thing as long as we can before we gotta re-up. Layer number three. Hashtag mom life. The final layer. Funny enough, it doesn't feel super cakey yet. I was thinking my skin was gonna feel like it was crawling by now, but it actually doesn't feel too bad yet. Layer number four. We're officially, how many layers? 12 layers in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hands are like covered and I'm getting foundation on everything. All right, now is concealer. Luckily for concealer, I only have to do two layers. ChatGBT chose my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color medium 26. It's probably my least favorite concealer. It says that I'm supposed to do three layers of contour. So we're gonna like do it back to back. And then that final time, I'm just gonna put on another thing of contour. And for the contour, it chose the ColourPop No Filter in Deep Dark 30, no, 54. Now, usually when I put this stuff on, I do like two little dots, because this stuff is crazy. Let's go in for the first layer. Did I wipe off makeup on accident? 
I don't know, be a little bit careful. I feel like I'm wiping off makeup as opposed to adding it. Maybe that's just what the color looks like it's doing. I'm trying to make this work as best I can. Like I really am. Layer number two. I keep feeling like I'm gonna just like wipe makeup off all over my clothes. All right, so we're done with concealer, but I have to put another layer of contour on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Mm. Hopefully the powder can fix this because it's just a hot mess. Well, it might make it worse depending on how many layers I have to put. I think that's as good as this is gonna get, which saying good in that sentence just doesn't even make sense. This is just bad. I have to put on six layers of setting powder. Unfortunately, it did choose a setting powder that I actually like. <laughs> So I'm very sad that I will be wasting so much of it for this look. And the setting powder that it chose was my Lunar Beauty Loose Setting Powder. Well, let's go in for the first layer. All right, this is when it's starting to feel very cakey and I'm only one layer in. Now for layer two. Layer three, five. My skin feels so dry right now. <laughs> I'm an oily, oily girl. My skin feels like the Sahara Desert right now. Oh my God, what is that in my eye? And the final layer of powder, layer six. I feel like I'm doing geisha makeup. My skin feels so dry, like y'all don't even know. And I feel like I have something in my eye, which makes this even more concerning. Oh my God, what? is that? Wait, I'm gonna just dust away the excess just a little bit, which is what I usually do anyways. Saying dust away the excess sounds so crazy because all of this is excess, like all of it. <laughs> oh my God, what is that in my eye? For my blush, ChatGPT chose my Moted in the color Pink Lace. This is the first time that it went all the way to the max. I need to put on 10 layers of blush. All right, we're definitely gonna be jigsawed today. Okay, we're gonna be, we're gonna be jigsaw. For some reason it's not really showing up. It's layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, five, layer six, layer seven, layer eight, layer nine, finally layer 10. I think I got a little lucky because this blush is generally very light. So even with putting on 10 layers, it doesn't look that crazy because it is a lighter blush. For bronzer, I need to put on seven layers of bronzer and it shows the Ofra Duo Blushzer. So we're gonna just dip right on in this bronzer and put on seven layers. Layer two, three, layer four, five, and and seven. This looks a hot mess. <laughs> looks like I got beat up. For highlighter. How many times highlighter? Ugh, five times. At least it's not 10. Okay, at least it's not 10 layers of highlighter. And for highlighter, it shows the ZC British Museum collaboration highlighter in the color S01. All right, going in for layer number one. Three, four, Five. This is gonna feel so satisfying wiping all of this off of my face because I can feel my skin crawling. Right now, my skin feels like it's writhing underneath all of this product. Next is eyebrows. This is the first one where I only get to put on one layer. And of course, it's a product that I don't like. And this is going to be the Iconic London Brow Gel. I absolutely hate it. Now, luckily I only have to put on one layer. Here's the kicker. Where's the pigment? Where's the pigment? It's it's non-existent. There are the eyebrows. You can barely see them because there's one layer of this foolishness, but you can see everything else on my face. Super thick and cakey with natural looking eyebrows. What a look. Here's the fun part. This is gonna be the eyeshadow. I listed into ChatGPT all of the shade names for this palette. And then I told it to assign a color for all the parts of my eye. So like the crease, the lid, brow bone, all that jazz. And I asked it how many layers. First and foremost, the palette that it chose, the palette that ChatGPT chose was my ColourPop Limoncello palette, which I actually really like this palette a lot. So I'm sad that I'm gonna be wasting some of the shadows in here. For my transition shade, ChatGBC chose Amalfi and I have to do three layers. Now, which one is Amalfi? Okay, Amalfi is this like mustardy yellow right here. So we're gonna do three layers of this shade right here. 
right in our transition area. Layer two, layer three. In my crease, it wants me to use semi-fredo and I need to apply semi-fredo nine times. Just to save me, save me. Now, where is semi-fredo? Okay, semi-fredo is this shade right here, which is actually a good crease shade, I'm not gonna lie. So layer one, three, four, five, seven, nine. My transition shade basically disappeared underneath all of that crease shade. Oh my God, I got so much fallout. Hold up. All right, moving on to my outer V. For my outer V, I need to apply the grotto four times. Okay, this is the grotto. I wonder if it knew what these colors were. So we have one layer down, three, four. For my lid, I have to do two layers of Easy Peasy. Now this color is Easy Peasy, a very pretty shimmer shade. Layer one, layer two. Easy Peasy is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna have to go back and do this eye look just without all the repetition. Easy Peasy is gorgeous. Dust away the excess. For my inner corner highlights, I have to apply Capri five times. Capri is this really pretty green. Layer number one, two, three, four, five. Bruh. I really think that this eye combination would look really pretty if it was done regularly. Next is the brow bone, and that color is Vespa. Okay, maybe it doesn't know the shades because it put the darkest shade as my brow bone. And this is Vespa right here, this nice deep chocolatey brown. So I'm gonna put this in the brow bone. How many times? Seven times. One, three, oh God, four, five, finally seven. It's okay. It's fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Underneath my eyes, I have to use La Festa six times. La Festa is this really pretty blue. One, two, three, four, five, finally six. ChatGPT, you did me dirty, okay? I just want you to know that I know that you did me dirty. I'm gonna just dust away the excess. Bruh, eyeliner, nine. I gotta put eyeliner on nine times. And the worst part about it is, I have to use my favorite eyeliner, my Pat McGrath, yikes. One, layer number two, layer number three, I don't see what the point is of layers of eyeliner, uh, but we're gonna do it anyways, cause we've already, we've committed, okay? We've committed to the task, we're gonna complete the task. That was layer three. Let's go in for layer four. This side always looks so good, and then this side is just like, meh, disgusting, trash, garbage. I always just slay this side. This side is my weak side, I'm not gonna lie. Layer number five, seven, finally, layer Number nine. For my gel liner, I have to use Midnight Blue from Juvia's Place five times. So this one, I'm just gonna make it a little easier. I'm just gonna sweep under five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, I feel like you cry. I'm trying so hard not to cry. I have to apply the mascara six times. Luckily for me, it's a mascara that don't work. It shows the Max Impact by She Glam. Now, if you guys remember, this does literally nothing to my lashes. So maybe by six layers, it'll finally give me some, some lashes, some lifts, some volume. Layer number one. Layer two, three. You see what I mean? Three layers in and then you still can't even see my eyelash. Layer number four. I feel like they need to rename this to low impact because ain't no way. Finally, layer number six. Our low impact mascara has been applied six times. So you finally getting some kind of coverage on my lashes there. If I had have used like my MAC stack or literally any other mascara, my eyelashes would have been like this. For lip liner, ChatGPT chose the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bounce. And I have to apply this eight times. Ew. For this, I'm just gonna go around once, all the way to eight. Three, five, seven, eight. Looks so gross. Oh my God. 
like absolutely gross. For my lippy, I gave it a choice between lipsticks, lip glosses, lip plumpers, all the different lip stuff. And it chose a lipstick. And from the lipsticks, it chose the She Glam. I think this is in like caramel or something, deep caramel. I have to apply this three times, which isn't that bad. It could be way worse. One, two, finally three. That color combo is actually really nice. I just wouldn't apply this much lip liner or lipstick. I would just go over it maybe like once or twice. We are almost done. This ride is almost over. I can finally go take a shower. Okay, this is the epitome of shower makeup. The final step is setting spray. And this one, I feel like it didn't give me enough steps. Okay, enough times that I need to put this on. I can only spray twice. And today I have to use my Matte Fresh. Is that fresh? Yeah, Matte Fresh Setting Spray by She Glam. One, two, that's it. That's all I get. This is the final look. I know, it's terrifying, absolutely terrifying. What's really throwing me is this dark ass brow bone. I wonder if ChatGPT thought brow bone was another word for eyebrows and that's why it chose the darkest color. This is definitely giving runway, okay? It's giving avant-garde, it's giving glam clown. What it's not giving is comfortability. It's not giving uh, going out on the town with Justin. That's definitely not giving that. I would not walk out my house like this. It's giving hot mess. I hate every bit of this. Let me give y'all a close up so you can see what's really happening to my face right now. This stuff is caked the f on. That is disgusting. I look like I'm ready to hit the runway in some ugly, expensive clothes. Let's just wipe this off and see. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Underneath my eyes is gonna be so stained. I'm ready for the shower. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.